Hello, this is Lena from Bespoke Craft Designs with part two of my video for ephemera. Um, I finished off uh, on part one with the um, little booklets inside the front cover of the journal um, and I'd got as far as just sticking them in and I've, as I said I'm doing multiple journals so um, I've stuck some of the others in. I will be going through them all and showing you how some of them are all uh, just slightly different, how I've made these slightly different at the end. Um, the only thing I added to this was I've put a bit of shadow in round the front of this one and um, I've put a bit of faux stitching round a label on here that just says peace, happiness and love. It's one of the Tim Holtz wordings um, and that's the only thing I've done off camera. Um, I've then gone on and started to uh, reinforce some of the spines. I've just got um, this one's just some trim that I had, it's fabric trim that I had and it's it's in the green and cream. I thought that looked quite pretty so I've just put some of that down the middle of that one. Um, but again I will show you the others that I've made a few different types with different papers. Um, now I did, did do them on screen but unfortunately uh, the camera turned off so I'm going to just do a, a small amount of uh, collaging just to show you where I started. Most of you all know um, the collaging but I just thought well I'll just do one again. So I'll just quickly get some of this down and this is this is all, all that I did on the others maybe using slightly different papers. Uh, as I say I've done I've done quite a few but for some reason I don't know what I'm doing I'm, I'm I'm obviously quite new at this uh, on the camera and uh, I, I think I've taken a video and then not saved it and then I've done another one and I've gone over it. That's the only thing I can think but it's uh, it's causing me to get a bit frustrated with it at the minute. I'm, I'm not the most technical person. I just I just like to do the, uh, the crafting. So I've just got a few bits of papers here that I want to, to try and use. Thought, well, I'll, I'll show you my process. This paper, this book page, it's really lovely in yellow. It's just a, a dictionary. And I absolutely love the different colours in the papers and the different textures. There's a bit of um, music paper, I think, next. Another bit of that up there. Trying to make sure I get all the edges. And I have a bit of this Edith Holden in here. I keep saving this Edith Holden. I'm trying to use up all my scraps as I keep saying before I move on. Um, because I've just got so much. And then I can go on and do some. Uh, I've got some other journals in mind and some other bits that I want to use with some um, digitals that I've downloaded but until I've got some of this uh, sorted out I don't want to promise myself I'm not going to start using them as I've just got too much too much uh, you know different bits to use up and you never use them up so I just thought well I'll get on and get this done and just keep at it until it goes. But I mean, obviously you're tearing bits and you're making more bits as you go along. So just get this down. I'm trying not to be silent. I'm trying to talk. Um, I'm trying to sort of keep things going because I know this is quite boring watching this. So I'm trying to do it as quick as I can. So it's, it's morning here, it's about uh, quarter past nine in the morning, I haven't been out, it's uh, Wednesday morning, 
I finally let the dog out and it looks really really nice out there really lovely and sunny but the last few days have been fooled by the sun I've gone outside to do some bits and it's been rather chilly so I'm I'm hoping today it's a little bit warmer I um, heard my neighbour over the fence the other day saying it was a bit chilly they had a saying to her family but she said even if I put, have to put my hat and scarf on I'm, I'm on holiday she's actually on holiday she they were going away but they've had to cancel the holiday and she said I'm going to sit in the garden whether it's uh, pouring with rain or snowing or whatever even if I have to sit with my hat and scarf on scarf and I'm going to sit out in the garden so she's uh, she works ever so hard and it's a break and she's obviously uh, a little boy's off school as well so she's wanting to spend some time with him and they're obviously staying in um, and uh, but yeah it's I mean we've we've retired so we are at home anyway um, we're, we're quite happy to just do as we're told and stay in because you know we don't want anything and we, we want to you know as we all do want to keep safe so we're happy to do it but we don't get um you know we're used to it anyway we used to be i know we go out and about but we we used to not sort of our lifestyle and our pace has slowed down quite a bit but for people that are on the go all the time and busy they really look forward to the the holidays but just break down the music papers and they yeah I'll put that one there and just move these out of the way so they're not in your view on the camera move those over there yeah, that can go on there. as I say I can then break this down to size as I need to journal this sort of colour palette that I've been using and yeah and I've literally just dabbed down a bit of colour and put on there uh, I was just going to use something just to dab the rest of it because I just didn't want that to waste let me just get some colour on there and these can go down here. So I've dried all the paint. I'm just going to give these a cut down to the size I want. And I'll obviously have some left for doing some mini tags or something with. <clears throat> do these with some decoupage I like the, the birds I like this little bit I've got here uh, I'll just have a look oh, I like that bit as well just some bits of napkins that I've got um, if you use like this has got a creamy background on it and um, this one has as well it's not quite as white as this so if you leave a bit of the cream on it won't be t quite as transparent as the white goes um, I still do the same and because these are birds and I don't want to break halfway through a bird I'm just going to cut down one of these lines because I don't want to I don't want to um, damage one of the birds oh, my, my dog's back in again is he it uh, don't leave me far He's realised that I'm not, I haven't got any visitors in here. I don't think he quite knows what's going on because he can hear me talking. Probably just thinks I'm talking to myself. So he's right behind me again. I'm going to do my 
make those brown birds. I'll leave that there a minute to see what else I'm going to come up with. I always glue them down first. That's just the way I like to work. And then I go over it with, I think I'm going to use a bit of this orangey. These are my favourite colours for roses, peaches and um, lemons and white roses. I absolutely love. I don't do them similar. Do I? I don't know. I might have to put that bit somewhere as well. Uh, let's have a look what else we've got. That one has actually got all the backing off those two. Um, but I do I do like it's maybe I've maybe used them when I did take all the backing off, but I found it so difficult to use like that, so I now don't take all the backing off. I'm just looking if there's anything with a little bit of hmm, quite like that one. It's just got a bit of um peachy colour on there. Lovely big leaf here. Let's have a look at what's that one? Oh, that's the other birds. So I quite like this. Put a bit of that up there and the yellow one there. I like this one with a leaf on. This is just easy to tear, I think, and it's still got the backing on it. And then it just comes off really easy. <clears throat> Put a bit of leaf under that one there, I think. Oh, I'm not sure about this one. We'll see what I'm going to do with that one. I'm going to look at these birds. If I was doing this one layer, it would have stuck to my fingers and then I'd have ended up tearing straight through the bird. I just find I can control it better. If I've got all three layers still on, I just don't want that cut edge on there. But I think we all do things slightly different. We all, all find our own way. Uh, right, let's have this. Let's have this off now before I uh, go too mad. We go. Do the same with this one. There we go. So let's do this one first and see how this one goes. So I just sort of secure them down first with my. Um, glue stick. doesn't matter if there's some of it not quite glued down, I'll just put my brush under it, but it's just so I know I've got it secured. And then I want the flower. Flower that bit. Still a bit of glue can you so it's gonna stick it down anyway. So that little bit of white will just blend into the background. Oh, I do think I've got a bit of room for something else there. So, is it going to be? Is it going to be a bee? I'm just in love with these bees at the moment. 
and far. I shall have to have a look at the packet because I really like these. I'm actually looking for um, some insect ones, but I haven't seen any. But I've just ordered an, an insect stamp, so I'll just use the white, you know, the white backing that you take off these. I'll use that and stamp them up and see if that works. Try that as long as the ink doesn't run, it should be okay. I can try it. Oh yeah, I've got a B on that one. Can't put a B on this one as well, so I'm going to probably just put another flower on this one. Let's get a look. It does need a little bit more than what we had on, on originally. So I think we're going to go with this lovely like poppy one, I think. We'll go with that. See what this looks like. Ooh, actually, I've changed my mind. Gosh, if I could have a pound for every time I change my mind, that's what my mum used to say to me. If I could have a pound for every time you change your mind, Lena, I'd be a millionaire now. <laughs> Bless her. I'd say I was. Oh, I did have another piece. I didn't think I did have. I'd say I was going to do something, then say, oh no, I'm going to do that, I'll do it that way. Thank goodness me, the amount of times you change your mind. And my kids are just the same, you can never rely on what they're going to say, because if you make a plan on what they're going to say, and then they change their mind. Oh, I thought about doing it some other way. Oh, left the backing on that one. Um, <clears throat> thought about doing it some other way now. Right. Yeah, my daughter said today, yesterday, um, she wouldn't be going with me for a walk today. And um, she has done. She wanted to do some uh, exercising rather than, you know, around the garden doing some exercises. Rather than going for walks, I, I walk a lot slower than what she can walk and she wanted to just do it a bit faster than what I do. And uh, I said, oh, that's all right. It was her little dog. When we take her little dog, he's so slow. She's so slow. She's a little shit so and she's ever so slow. Bless her, because she's only got little tiny legs. Mine's a, a fox terrier cross and he's... He loves, even though he's old now, he still walks a long way, he still runs, still likes to, well, doesn't now, but he used to run like mad and run everywhere and he still likes a good walk. He's had to get used to a slower work, walk because I can't do it anymore. But uh, if he gets a chance to go with somebody that can walk him, he suffers after if there's, you know, he's got some arthritis, but he'll still... He'll still give it a good old go, bless him. So, but now he's, he's sat next to me and he's absolutely shattered. I say my daughter walks far too fast for me. She has to walk a lot slower for me. I suppose it's frustrating when they want to go faster. We can only, in the UK we can only do a 30 minute um, walk out with your dogs you can only go once a day for 30 minutes so she likes to get a long way in the 30 minutes she likes to take my dog and me take hers so I can wander on with her dog behind and she can do it but then again she likes to walk with me as well so when she's with me she wants to walk with me so she thought, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my exercise on my own mum because I really need to keep up my exercise. And then she changed her mind. So I'm just covering this. I forgot I was doing some Mod Podge earlier and I haven't put 
my brush in some water. Like I put it in some water and then lay it flat to, to dry out. And I haven't done it, would you believe? So, because it was just when my daughter decided she was going to go with me for the walk. So I had to leave everything. And I was doing this. And I said, oh, all right then. Yeah, so just covering these three. So that's just that one. I've done them both with slightly different ones. I've picked a bit from, I've used three different napkins on this one. Just using my watered down. It's getting quite thick actually. I think it needs a bit more water in this. It's getting a bit thicker. So I'm not sure whether I've said it because I've done that many takes that haven't really worked out um, because I'm still struggling to get this camera right. Um, you know, with the recording right, the technical side of it. Um, <clears throat> I was watching a video of um, one of the artists that I watch and I get a lot of inspiration from. Uh, is Artie Mains and she'd been doing some decoupage. She doesn't glue hers first. She just does it straight down because she, well, she's just so experienced and so good she don't have a problem with splitting it she's really good um and uh, she then when it's dried she then uses um sandpaper you know an emery board to uh, sand it down because when you've done it like this it's rough and i've always when i've seen it i've thought oh, i'll never go with that i've never done that i've just left mine rough anyway i did it the other day which should have been on should have been recording it i was recording it but it stopped halfway through and i couldn't manage to to get it back together again um and um yeah that should be enough on there so i did it off camera i actually rubbed it all down with a little bit of sandpaper and what a difference it makes it was fabulous so i'm going to put that ready to wash yet again so they're the there are the two I've done and then when they dry we'll um, come back and put those in one of the books but I'll just show you one that I've done and one there. Have I stuck that one on? I must have stuck. So I wanted one that was a bit greeny for this one. So I think I'm going to go with, with that one because when that one's stuck down there I think the greeny one look really nice on there so i'm going to go with that one but that's still wet so i can't actually put it in at the moment but that's where it's going to go and what i'll do is i'll go right to the top of the bird and cut through the bottom of the flower um, because i did it slightly longer than i needed to that's why i tend not to go to the top of these so if i have done i can just and then i can use those bits again because i can soon stick something else on. so i'm going to use that one on there um i'll leave those bits out for now put that one on there and then this one this is quite yellowy as well just got some pinks in this one got some bits of pinks in and some greens some leaves so I think I'll probably go with this one and it's on the yellow background. I've got the choice of two there. I can either go with that one, but that's got a bit of blue in, so I might not use blue on that one. I think I'm going to go with that one. I think that one looks quite nice on there. Just found another one there that I could actually put in there. Then I can show you the full process. That's very yellowy and pinky. And so I could use that one. These are the ones I did on the screen before. And I did some with some of the blue napkin to show you how that affects it. It looks like it's another paper being collaged on there because if it's got a, anything other than a white background, it doesn't go transparent. It stays blue. 
or whatever colour you use and I really like that I like that effect on there so I'll put those out the way leave those two to dry and uh, I'll... so first thing I need to do is I need to find the crease we'll get the bone folder and give it a bit of a crease so and then I'm going to reinforce the inside of here with that been using my scissors out there and I haven't brought them back in so I'm just to use my craft scissors whoops dropped all that on the floor now for goodness sake been one of those days today you maybe can't see where my crease is but all I'm going to do side of the crease to make sure I get enough and then I decide again whether I want this to go over or whether I'm going to cut it off depends what to do with it I'll take some of these ones off my glue's going mad right on this one I want the butter so then I can do this now equally between the edge of there and the edge of my paper so I want some of that flower and I want but I want that butterfly in there I'm all blobby on me because I've left the lid off so let's get that down again that's it and I've got as much of that butterfly in as I can just get a bit of that glue off and then I either use paper clips or the little, um, these little ones, these little clips that I've got there. So this is no different to what anybody else does. You just see me doing it. And this is only going to have a little bit of that flower on it has got some flower all the way down there i could add something else in there if i decided it wasn't enough um <clears throat> what i'm going to do with this one i'm going to cut this off before i actually glue this one down but it's left a real nice little piece to do a tag with with that flower on so i'll still use that um so I've got those two still drying so that's basically that's basically it I'm just going to glue this one down and then I'm going to come back with part four because I've already done part three so part four will be um, so this is part two and I've done part three, which is putting something in these. And then I'm going to get on now with part four, which I'm not sure what part four is going to be yet. So part two and part three will go out a couple of days apart. Because I've had a problem with part two, but part three is all ready to go. Because I got, got on crafting and didn't realise this one hadn't taken. There we go. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for, for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. As I say, I've done these other two and I'm leaving them to dry and then I'll put one in next time and then we'll get on and get part three sorted. Right, thank you for now. Keep safe and I'll be back with you soon. Bye.